All right, today I got in the Chromebox 3 Lenovo. Uh, I have my own Chromebox that I really like, and I decided to pick one up for my son. And let's just take a look. And the box is just a plain brown box, but it has my name plastered all over it, so I'm not good with that. Inside the box. Not a lot inside the box. Uh, safety guide. Don't give a shit. Uh, so this is the IdeaPad Chromebook 3. Now this is the 11 inch model. Uh, like the title should say, it was only $231. I saw it's just a refresh, uh, newer version of course it came out from, I saw a post on Chromebo uh, Chromebook Unbox or Chrome Unboxed. This is a 45 watt charger. This should be the same one I have for my Chromebook. Uh, pretty standard as the previous one. I do like how Lenovo has like this little yellow thing. It's not used to that. They're old ThinkPads. It's a pretty good touch. Nice little black pouch thing and some padding. There you go. You can see uh, I watched the unboxing video on Chrome Unbox and they noticed that this is, although it's a two-tone, it's not textured, it's just like paint, I guess. Nice little Lenovo branding there, and then the Chromebook. I'd rather that be black than that color circle. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I think it's three pounds or under three, a little under three pounds, but it's, it's pretty dense feeling. Uh, so as I said, I am, I just recently got my own Chromebook, which is the Lenovo C630 Yoga 4K model, which is 15 inch. And I was such a fan of the Lenovo, Lenovo product, I bought myself a Lenovo Windows laptop and I bought my son this Chromebook. Uh, hopefully it doesn't suck. There's a little packaging there for it. And then a little covering for the screen, which is nice. So it is a standard Chromebook, right? I mean, it's uh, pretty nice though. It has a little tag for support. Uh, Intel inside. I forget what the specs are. Uh, it's not an i3 or something like that. Just something dumb. There we go. So it was $218. Intel Celeron uh, N4020 processor, 1.1 gigahertz up to 2.8 gigahertz. Uh, two cores, two threads. It's 11.6 inch HD screen, but it's on, I think it's 720p. But it gets up 250 nits. Only four gigs of RAM, which is kind of a pain, and then the 64 gigabyte hard drive. So they have a smaller version, but they have a uh, cheaper version, but it's like 180 bucks. It only has 64 gigs. Well, only uh, 32 gigs, and I don't know. It seems, I mean, it's a pretty cheap price to pay. Uh, so if you ever used a Chromebook before, you can, you know, they don't come on until you power them up. So here's my Chromebook. I'm actually using this to record the audio through my HyperX microphone. Uh, I love this Chromebook, but you can kind of see the difference in the keyboards, of course. I mean, that Lenovo has their standard kind of layout, which I like. There's some minor differences, of course. Uh, notably, this uh, key here is a lot different. I mean, there's like a little stepping stone thing here. I don't know what that's all about. A Chromebook won't come on for the first time until you plug in power. So let's do that. Oh, I guess we'll check out the ports. Uh, on this side we have a USB-C, a USB, I should assume 3.0, maybe 3.1, micro SD card, and a headphone jack. Over here another USB-C, another uh, USO 3, USB USO, USB 3.0, and then the Kinesis lock. So these are mostly for schools I believe or whatever, but uh, my son has a Chromebook, like a Chrome box, not a Chromebook. Uh, Chrome box that is the uh, Chrome box 3. What was it Acer? Asus. Uh, Asus. Asus. And it works uh, pretty good. Then we're going to upgrade the RAM in it. Uh, in our house, we have uh, dogs that he has to watch while I work in my basement office. And they don't really cause that much of a problem, but I want him to work on stuff and have a device available for him to study on some stuff over the summer. And I thought this would be a good way to go about it. Screen does not look great. 
right off the bat. But again, it's also two hundred thirty-one dollars. I paid more for. Well, I paid more for dinner the other night, I believe. <laughs> Pretty close. It is not a touchscreen. Now, so I do like the keyboard. I mean, Lenovo has a solid keyboard. Yeah, so it's definitely not a touchscreen. Again, I have like a light here for recording, so it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's not like, fuck that screen. It sucks. It's an okay screen. It's not as good. I mean, my Lenovo Chromebook is a 4K screen, so it's going to be a huge difference for me. Uh, he currently has, what, like an old Lenovo tablet. It's like a 7-inch screen or something, right? So, like, it's... Uh, it was a cheap device as well that's lasted pretty... I mean, I've had a good success with Lenovo, so I'm a fan of their products. So this will be a big step up for him uh, for things around the house. Now, again, in his standard workstation, he has a workstation. He's a child. But he has an Asus monitor, which is nice. Uh, the Asus Chromebook, Chromebox, which we're going to upgrade the RAM to 16 gig, and uh, we're going to have the bridge keyboard. So he has a nice setup at his desk, but this will be for just other areas of the house or, you know, if he goes somewhere. So I really like the keyboard, uh, and I also like the trackpad. I mean, it's probably plastic. It's probably plastic. I don't think it's glass, but it's, I mean, smooth. It's nice. And, and it also, like, it's a good click. Like I have, like I said, the Lenovo C630. I also had the Pixel Slate for a brief while with the bridge keyboard or the Google uh, Folio keyboard thing. They have like a ka-chunk type thing going on when you clicked on them. So uh, I'm digging this soft touch. I thought that was just a Chrome thing, but apparently not. So Because this one has like a soft touch and it's, it's pretty good. So it has the voice, but we'll do that later. So the way you have on your Chromebook and hook now ready. Chromebox. So I brought in his uh, wallpaper from his Chromebook, a Chromebox. Uh, and automatically connects to his phone. I mean these are just Chromebook things. But I mean maybe you don't have Chromebook already. So let's go ahead and check out the advanced. You can see the Linux beta option is available. Uh, so that's good. Let's check for updates. Yeah, it's, it's uh, behind. Uh, while we're doing an update, you can see there is a decent bezel, but yeah, it's two hundred dollar device, so you got to kind of expect that. Uh, there is a webcam here without a privacy shutter, but my $700 Chromebook doesn't have a shutter. My Windows device does have the privacy shutter, but uh, this one obviously does not. And you wouldn't expect as much from the... I mean, I'll put, a, I'll put a little plastic one on there, but... Yeah, I'll put these little webcam covers on there. I'll put a link. I've used these in my MacBook, and they work fine. Uh, here you can see there's a nice little Lenovo branding. I like Lenovo, as I've mentioned. Uh, I... There's the speakers around the bottom here. We'll test those out in a second. I, I wouldn't expect them to be very good. There's lots of open screws there. So, I mean, uh, accessible screws. So, in theory, you could take it apart. I don't believe. I believe the RAM is soldered. Soldered. <laughs> soldered. The RAM is soldered on, so I don't think you can update that. All right. I guess while it's updating, we can check out. Again, uh, excellent keyboard. I'm like trying to make this bread. I can't keep on different. So, uh, honestly, I don't think the audio is terrible on this thing. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's a little tinny, I guess. I mean, it's not, you're not going to be blown away by it, but it's, the price is certainly relevant because the price is what got me to buy it instantly without even thinking about it. Uh, it's perfectly fine. I mean, you're not going to sit there and jam out on it. And you would have, but again. Me personally, and I'm sure my son as well, would only use this with headphones if you really want to get into music listening. But if you just want to play like a YouTube video, that's a great idea. Let's play a YouTube video. Let's see if we can find a great YouTuber. So you can hit this little search bar and then just type that in there. YouTube. This is a pretty great YouTuber. You should check this guy out. He is the best. Uh, let's look at some gaming so we can see some gaming footage. Sit and we'll check the screen out a little better. Let's go full screen. Now, uh, there we're on the Xbox, as you can see. Gardens, but. Alright, so this is 720p. That's going to be your max. I mean, you can set 1080p, but the screen, of course, is only 1080. It's only 720p. Same voice as the ninja skin. That looks like. We get some actual gameplay. So good. 
Not horrible, right? I mean, what do you think? Too I mean, definitely a little bit like white, like, super bright. Uh, the brightness is. Oh, I'm so there's the brightness all the way down. Let's turn it on. I do not believe the keys are backlit. We'll turn that light off. Yeah. Yeah, the keys are definitely not backlit. Audio for YouTube should just just fine. Like I said, screen is what it is. And this will be mostly used for web browsing and like uh, tutorials online and things like that, uh, as opposed to like watching 4K movies and shit like that. So let's restart it. The screen is not reflective, like you can't see me sitting behind here. Pretty stellar little device. I'm used to my scroll going the other way, so this is messing me up. Doesn't appear to be too much installed already. You can obviously do, I mean, standard Chrome stuff, right? There's nothing, I guess we can look at Geekbench, but it's going to be garbage scores. So let's install Geekbench, and we'll see what we get. I can't imagine it's going to be very good. All right, so we're going to run a CPU benchmark. Uh, I can't imagine, again, that's going to be very good, but we'll give it a shot. All right, here we go. I mean, it's really not as terrible as I thought it was going to be, but, I mean, obviously it's not great. 446, single core, 888. Uh, multi-core and again I don't pretend like I know what this shit means uh, so it scores worse than a Galaxy S10 Plus which is to be expected uh, but I mean yeah, it's also a Galaxy S10 Plus was obviously a thousand dollar phone when it came out so I wouldn't expect these kind of performances to be <laughs> this is called a Google Octopus it's pretty neat alright so there we have it. Like I said, we'll, uh, I'm sure I'll do some follow-ups on this because we just subscribed to Stadia. Uh, so we'll check that. We'll try Stadia out on these things. We'll try some Play Store games. We'll try different things. We'll compare both my Lenovo, the 6630 4K model Yoga with the i5 processor and 8 gigs of RAM versus the 4 gigs of RAM and whatever this basic processor was. All right, so thanks for checking us out. Let me know if you have any questions about it, anything particularly you want to be tested on this, and we'll try it out and we'll see how it goes. Alright, thanks again.